Number 55, integrated concepts. A prankster applies 450 volts to an 80 microfarad capacitor and then tosses it to an unsuspecting victim. The victim's finger is burned by the discharge of the capacitor through 0.2 grams of flesh. What is the temperature increase of the flesh? So uh, we can reverse engineer this problem if we need to know the temperature increase of the flesh. Most likely, we're dealing with some type of calorimetry type of problem right? Where we know that the energy needed, now they represented this in the chapters like capital Q. I'm going to write it as E, right? But the energy needed to change the temperature of an object is going to be equal to the mass of the object multiplied by the specific heat of the object multiplied by the change in temperature. Now I'm looking for the change in temperature. So basically divide the mass and the specific heat out of both sides. And what we realize here is that we need to know then the energy that was basically transferred, okay? And we have to take that energy and divide it then by the mass of whatever material we're heating up. In this case, I guess it's flesh. All right. Mmm, sounds delicious. And then multiplied then by the specific heat of flesh. So uh, the mass they gave us, remember it has to be in kilograms. They gave it to us in grams, but we do need that in terms of kilograms. Um, so we do know the mass here. All right, that's going to be basically 0.2 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms now. Okay. The then specific heat, the average is going to be about, for the human body, it's about 3,600, 3,500, 3,600, depends on the reference, the material you reference, but it's about this, all right? All right, and that would have a value of joule per gram degree Celsius. And what we don't know then is going to be the, so that you got to look up, unless you just kind of know it, which would be cool. I'm not sure in what context, but maybe for doing a problem like this, it'd be cool. And then we got to know the energy. Okay, so that's really the question. So how much energy then is stored in the capacitor? That's really the key fundamental insight. So the amount of energy that's stored in the capacitor, how do we find it? Well, we need to know some formulas. I got them listed down here on the bottom. Okay, there's three of them. Which one are we going to choose? Well, remember, if I want to find the energy... They told me the voltage is 450 volts, and they told me the capacitance, right? How do I know it's the capacitance? Well, if you look at the top, it said microfarads. I know farads represents capacitance. So this is 80 microfarads, but you know we need that in farads, so just simply take that and multiply it by 10 to the minus 6th, and that'll be it in farads. So I need a formula then that relates these, you know, three variables together. So E, V, and C. So this one looks like it fits the bill. The energy of a capacitor is going to be equal to, what do you think? V and C. What do you, see? you see it? There it is. C times V squared all over 2. So all we have to do is find this now. Capacitance is going to be 80 times 10 to the minus 6th, multiplied by that voltage, 450, squared, all divided by 2. And what does that equal? Well, let's see. So the energy that's stored in that capacitor is 80 times 10 to the minus 6th, multiplied by 450 squared, divide that by 2. So it comes out to be about 8.1 joules. 8.1 joules. Now, this represents then the energy. If this is the energy that's stored in the capacitor, I guess we're going to assume all of this energy gets transferred into then raising the temperature okay, of the skin, and that's what we're going to, or the flesh, and that's what we're going to try to solve for now. So change in T will equal 8.1 divided then by 0 0.2 times 10 to the minus 3, multiplied then by 3,600. And what do we get? So let's see. 8.1 divided by then parenthesis 0 0.2 times 10 to the minus 3, times then 3,600. And we get about 11.25. I guess 2, I don't know, about 11.3 then. And that's then in terms of degree Celsius. You can also call it degree Kelvin. It doesn't matter. Uh, but this is basically the amount of the temperature change. And um, is it reasonable to assume no phase change? Uh, sure. Did your flesh turn into, you know, some kind of puddle of puddle of flesh now? Some liquid flesh? No. Right? Didn't change any phase, really. Um, also, it didn't burn. Right? I don't think, you know, this isn't that hot. I wouldn't want to touch it, but, you know, to each their own. All right, guys. Thank you so very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I look forward to helping you with more problems. You be well.